Hey, welcome back. So this is configuring the web server video seven. So in this video, we're going to learn how to configure our web server at an IP address, make sure Apache is running because we want to have this as our server that we can ingest logs to at a, you know, at a further point. So we have our server here. Let's go ahead and just minimize this for now. We have our server, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and log in. Let me log in now with my fancy password. Okay, so let's go ahead. I wanna actually go to sudo su and just put my password just so I'm root, so I don't have to always worry about things. Okay, so if I do an ls, I'm just on my home directory, uh, home Patrick. So what we have to do now, we can, you know, if you have, installed it on, uh, if you installed Apache during the default, but I didn't, so I actually installed everything after the fact. So I wanna show you guys how to do that and what the steps are. It's super, super simple, it's just a few commands. So first you wanna always wanna make sure you update it so you can do, now I can just uh, apt update and just make sure everything is up to date. And if you need to upgrade it, you can upgrade it as well. But this is just going to update all the packages and all that good stuff, okay? So that's the first step. The second step is you can write apt install apache2. And once you install this, you'll install Apache and you should be good to go, okay? So after that, we have to adjust the firewall. So make sure the firewall is all good to go in our Apache server to allow any connections from other machines. Like we're gonna be building out a Kali machine you know, everything that sits on that 192.168.100 network in my case. Okay. So what I'm going to do is use, I, I want to actually list the, the apps. So the applications that are available for me, it should be the same for you because we installed open SSH in the beginning or once we installed the server. And now once you do install Apache, you should have these options now. So, the next thing after we're actually done installing that, we can allow the traffic through. So how do we do that? So we can do uh, UF, uh, FU, no, not FU, UFW allow, because let's just do UFW. Um, uh, let's do this. So I just wanna show you guys some of the options for the firewall. So we have all these commands, disable, enable, default, you know, blah, 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 set default policies, logging to level, et cetera. So many different options, right? So anytime you have any questions for yourself and it's not in the video, you can go ahead and hit the question mark to make sure you understand what you're doing. So the application profile command, so you can do app list, so you can list the applications like we just did. And now we wanna do is see if the Apache is allowing that traffic. So if you look here, we can see that right here on the, on the, on, on the left here, uh, let me see if I can make this a little larger. Um, I guess not. Okay, let me see if I can do this. There we go, that looks a little better. All right, so let's make this a little larger. All right, so on the, um, on the, on the right-hand side here, we have a whole bunch of different commands, right? So what we can do is do status. So if we do UFW status, we can see the status is active and it's allowed for Apache, that's the action, and it's from anywhere. So anywhere on my local network, I'm gonna be able to traverse traffic to my web server. And if it is disabled, which I wanna disable it now so you guys can see. So let's go ahead and disable, just in case this is where you guys are at. And now we hit status. If, if your status is inactive, that just means that the service is disabled. So now let's go ahead and hit the up arrow. Instead of disabled, let's put re-enable or enable. And now we can look at the status and now we can see that it's there, okay? So hopefully that worked. And if you want, you know, you can, you know, check out 
So the, the, the next thing we're gonna do is I wanna allow traffic to the SSH. So if we go back up, we can see open SSH as well. So now we wanna allow that because the only thing that's allowed right now is Apache. So how can we allow that as well? Very simple, UFW allow, because if we remember, we can come up here, or well, it's allowed, trust me. And then we can allow open SSH, okay? Now the rule is added. Now we can hit the status, and now we should see open SSH as well, NV6 for uh, version six. All right, cool. So the last thing we can do now on here, we can check for the web server status. So what we can do here, we can just do system, system, CTL, status, okay? And then Apache 2. Oops, Apache, oh, I spelled Apache wrong. Okay, so now we can see that the, the service is running. The Apache HTTP server is running, so we are good to go. Now, the next thing we can do is Let's go ahead and just hit control C there. All right, now we can just do an IPA. So I already changed my IP address, but I wanna walk you guys through the whole process. So hang tight. I just like to do some of the, prelim the preliminary stuff because some things have changed in the newer Ubuntu. Before it used to be in interfaces. Now it's just in a different spot. So what we're gonna do, excuse me, what we can do now is go to our, uh, Let's CD to Etsy. And then we're gonna go ahead and do, do an LS. There's a massive amount of files here. So we can CD to NetPlan. And now in NetPlan, there is a file, a YAM file. So we can cat this. Let me actually, let's do that. It's a little cleaner. Okay. so. Obviously, you're not gonna have the these settings because this is my settings for my setup. So, but you can pretty much copy what it says here. So we can cat this as well. Oh, nano, sorry, nano. And once you nano this, we can make the necessary changes. So you can take a screenshot of this and just change it to whatever settings you need. So, you know, version two, uh, the Ethernet, the addresses, maybe your address is different. Mine is 192.168.100.200 with a 24-bit subnet mask. My routes are going to be to default. And then my route is going to be going through my router, which is at 192.168.100.1. Okay. So now if we just do control X there and we can do IP route and we can see my route is, is good. I'm good. So we can do arc-a, obviously I, I don't have some of those tools, but that, that's fine for me. I don't have internet now because we, um, see I don't have internet, so that's fine. I don't need internet, this is just a lab where everything is gonna be in my environment. So yeah, so at this point, this is how you get your server configured. In the next video, we're gonna be installing Kali Linux. I know it's probably redundant on my channel, but for this course, that's what we're gonna be using to manage everything. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for viewing and hope you're enjoying the course. Thank you.